Hi there and welcome back. In a previous video I tuned this impact to shoot the FX hybrids in 25 caliber at about 965 to 970 feet per second. I'll put a link up in the corner of the screen if you want to check that out first. While the tune showed very consistent results in shot string and shot count, this doesn't necessarily mean this is the best velocity for accuracy in this barrel with that slug at that particular speed. So to figure that out, the next thing I will have to do is something called harmonic tuning. Most people say these slugs are producing the best results between 930 to 960 feet per second, but some say you can even shoot them from 880 to 980 feet per second. That's why I tuned this impact to shoot 975 feet per second, so it gives me a good starting point and I can gradually work my way down on the power wheel. Actually, it's a very easy process to figure that one out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my 50 yard range and shoot 5 shot groups at every power setting on the power wheel and see which velocity shows the tightest groups. And improve from there, of course. I'll be shooting at these kind of papers I made with circles of exactly 1 inch or 25.4 millimeters. I'll do the test with two different liners, the superior liner that's already inside and the superior heavy to see if we get any difference in results and which one of the two my impact likes the best for the 25 hybrid slugs. So I will get started on that and I see you back here at the table to look at the data. Let's go. Nine hundred seventy nine hundred seventy two nine hundred seventy four nine hundred seventy two nine hundred seventy Nine hundred sixty nine hundred fifty one nine hundred fifty eight nine hundred fifty eight nine hundred fifty six Nine hundred twenty six, nine hundred twenty eight, nine hundred twenty six, nine hundred twenty three, nine hundred twenty one. Eight hundred seventy nine, eight hundred seventy nine, eight hundred seventy nine, eight hundred eighty one, eight hundred eighty four. 821 828 828 828 828 Seven hundred 
93. 789. 793. 779 784 754 700 59 752 756 756 Nine hundred seventy four nine hundred seventy seven nine hundred eighty one nine hundred seventy seven 979 963 953 960 Nine hundred sixty three. Nine hundred sixty three. Nine hundred thirty. 932 932 932 935 Eight hundred eighty six. Eight hundred eighty eight. Eight hundred eighty six. Eight hundred eighty six. Eight hundred. Seventy two.
833. Eight hundred forty. Eight hundred thirty five. Eight hundred forty. Eight hundred thirty five. 791 796 793 Seven hundred eighty six, seven hundred ninety eight, seven hundred sixty five. Seven hundred sixty three, seven hundred fifty two, seven hundred sixty one, seven hundred sixty five. So back here at the table. Tests are all done with boat liners, it was a warm day and there was a little bit of wind, but that couldn't keep me from having a lot of fun. Taking a look at those two results, you can clearly see why it's so important to do the harmonic tuning after your initial tune. A common mistake a lot of people make is that you can set your gun up to shoot a particular speed and expect to shoot amazing groups. But that's really not the truth. These two results out of different liners clearly show why it's important to do the next step in the tuning process. When we look at the superior liner to my surprise, we can see it shoots amazing at low speeds around setting number 2 with 5 shots landing in a group of about 10 mm at 50 meters, showing that these slugs can perform at very low velocities as well. There was also some potential at the max setting, shooting around 970 feet per second. The superior liner heavy results, discarding the 2 shots at the bottom, the paper was folded and those are copy shots. The results clearly show potential at setting number 4 with 5 shots landing in 13mm at 50 meters. Looking at the results again it shows how important it is to do these tests. 30 feet more or less can yield a big difference in group size as you can see clearly on setting number 5 or setting number 3. Setting number 4 does a lot better with a little bit difference in velocities. Now when I continued my test it was the obvious choice to go for the superior liner at setting number 2, around 830 feet per second. But I like to have a flatter trajectory and that's why I chose for the superior liner heavy at 935 to 940 feet per second. I still have tuned the valve knob with one quarter turns up or down to see if I could improve my results. Ending up with a velocity of 940 feet per second, so 10 feet per second more than the initial tune I made here. Now the accuracy results of my tune so far, at 25 meters or 27 yards, it just shoots pellet on pellet all day long, no effort needed. Nice. Then at 50 meters or 50, uh, 54 yards, the hole opens up ever so slightly, but it's still one ragged hole 
at 50 meters at 75 meters or 82 yards this is a six shot group instead of a five shot group because i think i might have pulled this one here on the top without this shot into the group it measures 13 millimeters or half an inch and taking this one into account the group measures 22 millimeters or 0.85 inches stretching it to 100 meters or 110 yards is another story for me because i think i might need some more practice with some groups of 25 to 40 millimeters or one to one and a half inches if i look at the performance at 75 meters i'm confident i can do better with the accuracy at 100 meters normally i shoot my tests from the bench but finally i found a place behind my friend's garden giving me 100 meter and more but i still have to set it up so i shot these groups shooting from prone position what's new for me playing some tricks with my breathing and position but i promise i will do some more practice and revisit it the 100 meter accuracy but the whole point of this video was to show how important it is to harmonically balance your gun to get good groupings and consistent results and not my abilities as a shooter with all this said this wraps up the video i hope you found it interesting and helpful so if it did please help me to make my channel grow by liking subscribing hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos because i have some great products lining up for new videos thanks for watching and i hope to see you back next time bye